Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY request, I'll be creating a flower pot chandelier lighting decor. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. I'll be starting off with clear salad bowls and they come two in a pack, but I will only be using three. Next, I'll take my bowl and I'll flip it upside down and I'll take my soldering iron and I'll follow the trace line that's already on the bowl and I'll be cutting a circle. I'll be making my own flower pots because this time of year when you go to the stores all you can find is Halloween or fall items and not flower pots. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms link below. Next I'll be using clear salad plates and they come six in a pack and for this DIY I'll be using all six. Next I'll take my bowl and I'll place it on top and I'll trace the circle and then I'll use my soldering iron to cut it out. I'll be repeating all the same steps with the next two salad bowls and plates. And if you're not aware by now, I have a new logo onto my merch and I'll have that website linked below or you may locate it on my YouTube channel. Next, I'll take all my pieces and give it two coats of metallic silver and then on the salad bowls, I will only spray the inside and not the outside. Next, I'll be using these square mirror cutouts and they come in three different sizes and I'll only be using the medium and the large. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I'll start off with the larger size by adding hot glue on the back side of the mirror and then place it on the center of the bowl in a diamond position and then I'll continue with the medium size and then I'll continue with the large, medium, large, medium and I'll be placing them one inch and a half apart. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next, I took the three remaining salad plates and I'll be using them as top lids. Next, I'll take my ruler and marker and I'll place three marks five inches each across from each other. Next, I'll take my solder and iron and I'll make three small cuts where I place my markings and I'll repeat the same steps on the next two. Once I was done, I took each plate and I placed it on top of each bowl and then I placed markings where I placed my cuts on the plates. Next, I'll take my solder and iron and I'll make my three holes where I placed my markings and if you can see, the markings are very close to the edge. Next, I'll take the plate with the cutout and I'll glue the bowl on top and this is an easy way to make a flower hanging pot if you can't find any. Next, I'll be using round star foam and they come two in a pack, but I'll be using three and they're five inches each and I'll glue them on top of each plate. Next, I'll be using these yellow beautiful tulips and I'll be using three bushes and I'll take all three and spray paint them metallic silver. I will also be using six bushes of these beautiful navy blue loose roses. For each flower pot, I'll be using two bushes of the blue and one of the silver. Next, I'll take each plate with the styrofoam and I'll start off with the silver flowers and I'll use my wire cutters to cut off the length that I need. And then I'll start placing them into the styrofoam making a flower arrangement. On the blue flowers I left the leaves for color and you could arrange these in any placement you like. Here I'm just showing you how I placed them into the styrofoam but then later on I went back and readjusted all the flowers. When placing my flowers I'm leaving the center empty because I'll be placing my lighting right in the center. And I repeated the same steps on the next two by leaving the center empty. 
So I'll be using book rings and I'll be using three and these are easy to use. Just open them up and I'll be sliding one in each hole on the flower pot and this is how I will hang each pot. Once I know the book rings fit, I'll take them back off and I'll take my floral arrangements and I'll line up the plate with the hole on each bow and then I'll glue it in place. So I was done, I flipped it over and I took my ruler and I'll be placing eight markings one inch and a half apart and I'll be doing this on the bottom of the plate. Once I was done, I took my solder and iron and I made a hole on each marking and the solder and iron made a hole through the plate and the bowl. So I'll be using jewelry making eye pins and I'll be making hooks and all I did was take one end, bend it up, take the opposite end and bend it up as well and now I have hooks and I made 24. So I'll be using acrylic crystals with adjustable links and I'll be using some with 8 links and some with 7 links. These are easy to use, just take the key ring part and put it onto the hook that I made previously and then attach them to each hole and close them up with the jewelry bending tool. I started with 8 links and then I'll go on to 7 and then I'll repeat with the 8 and then 7 and then 8 and I'll repeat the same steps for the, all 3. I also made 9 with 12 links and I'll be using 3 on each flower pot and all I did was take the key ring, hook it onto the book ring and hook them back onto the flower pot like I did in the previous clip. And to hold all 3 together I took a book ring and I hooked them all on together. And for lighting, I'll be using six LED remote touch lights and I place one inside the bowl and I place one in the center of the flowers. Next, I took my reflection paper and I cover a wood planter that I already had on hand. Next, I use five screw on hanging hooks and I screw them onto the board eight inches apart. Once I was done with the first three, I flipped it over and I screwed on the last two. And to hang my base, I took two plant chains, spray painted them in silver, and then I took the chains and hooked them onto the hooks. And just for FYI, this hanging base is optional. These flower pots can be hung in your home individually, separately, or together. And here is the finished look. I really do love the way this chandelier turned out, and the best thing about it is it's so shimmery, glamorous, and sophisticated. This chandelier can be used in so many different areas in your home, including your bathroom, dining room, and kitchen. The person that requested this asked me if I could make artificial flowers look glamorous. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting and shimmering they are bringing to that special area or room in your home. And here is the chandelier in different color lighting. And here's one of the flower pots hanging in a corner by itself. Again, they can be used individually. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now, don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.